I've loaded up the North America Web Internet Preset, which has set up appropriate choices throughout this dialog. For example, the RGB workspace is set to be sRGB, which is a smaller color space that's standard in the digital imaging environment. In fact, most vendors and manufacturers include this sRGB color space as a target for saving digital files. You've probably received hundreds of color scans saved in this particular color space, or maybe digital photo files, and even native Photoshop artwork from your clients. It's been extremely popular. It's designed to represent the colors that you'd see on a standard PC monitor. So in that sense, it makes a great choice for a working space when you're viewing and editing colors for images that are destined for web publishing. You'll notice below that the policy that's set for handling RGB color images is to convert it to the specified working space. To make this even more streamlined, I'd recommend that you turn off any warnings about mismatched profiles by unchecking this particular checkbox. Moving along, I want to show you a reasonable option to choose if you're a photographer or a designer that's involved with any kind of print work. The North America Pre-Press 2 choice sets up your environment a bit differently. Notice that now the default working space for RGB images is the much larger color space called Adobe RGB. This option has thousands of more colors available to it than the smaller sRGB space that we saw before. You'll notice that your color management policies are now all set to preserve embedded profiles, which is a good thing when dealing with print work. Mainly because profiles define how the colors are created and how they'll need to be displayed in Photoshop. This allows clients, art directors, printers, and designers to see the exact same colors on their respective calibrated and profiled monitors. I did want to point out another choice that a lot of designers and photographers use when creating artwork for four color printing. Color Match RGB is a slightly smaller space than the Adobe RGB space, and it tends to represent the colors that you're likely to achieve on a standard offset press a bit better. You'll notice that this changed the setting to Custom. If you wish to save the setting now, simply choose Save and enter a unique name, followed by the .csf file extension. You can also put in an annotation in the description field that describes the setting to your coworkers or clients. This way you can email this preset to everyone working on the project with you, and they can all view identical colors on their calibrated monitors. They'll need to install the setting in the correct place on their hard drives. On Macintoshes, place them in the Library Application Support Adobe Color Settings folder. On Windows, they're stored in Program Files Common Files Adobe Color Settings folder. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to interact with these profiles in the course of working with images in Photoshop.